Hey there everybody, it's Wayne D. Francesco, and if you're not watching this on my website, waynedfrancesco.com, I encourage you to go over and check it out, because I think you'll like what you find. This is a, a short, free video, the tip of the week, and this week we're doing, uh, explaining a term that I use called the furthest left point. What that refers to is the furthest point that the hips move laterally in the swing, and what's important is the timing of when they they get there. All right, so when I do a swing analysis, I always draw lines on either side of the hips, and I call this the hip box. And it's, there's another one for the down-the-line view, but this one's face-on. I took the picture on the right when I played in the PGA Championship at Hazeltine. Uh, no, actually, well, it's either Hazel. Yeah, this is Hazeltine. Um, on the left is this year, and that's McElroy. Now, as you can see, the camera is moving slightly, so I drew a line on the side of that sign in the background you can see a little bit of movement all right so let's take a look and we're looking at the lateral movement of the hips and for most good players what you'll find the backswing is that there won't be any lateral movement to the right they'll stay right in the box and swivel the uh, right hip will go back backwards the left knee will come in slightly some players more than others and now we're going to drive from right to left and the hips are going to slide in addition to twisting and opening. So as we watch the lateral movement, what we're interested in is at what point in the swing does it achieve the maximum point away from the starting point. So when do you get your, your most lateral movement? So as I've watched different players, what I've seen is that the, the furthest left point is usually reached by a left arm position in a downswing that's somewhere in the neighborhood of 45 degrees down or so, something like that. Both of those are a little bit more or less, as you, however you want to look at it. All right. Now, another interesting thing is that once the furthest left point is reached, I call it the furthest left point because at this point the, the hips, this one's over a little more actually, at this point all the motion is going to be behind the player with the hips as the right shoulder drives forward. So if you put a line on the right shoulder you'll see it drive through impact. Same thing with Ernie. And as you watch, the left hip has moved around behind the player, and the finish is belt buckle right against that furthest left point, and Rory even pushes it slightly beyond, as you can see. So that lateral movement initiates from the ground now in Rory's case, you can see the right foot slightly roll backwards this way. So, you know, he's doing this more from the middle of his foot with the knees flexing. If you watch his swing from down the line, you'll see a large flex of both knees as he torques up and unwinds his upper body. Ernie's pretty smooth. Not a lot of lowering in Ernie's swing. Of course, when you're 6'5 and 240 or whatever he is, you don't need to generate as much torque to hit the ball a long way. So, got to get that push, and that lateral movement along with the opening early, right in transition, get it moving, and get over there before you get to where the shaft is parallel to the ground. 
That's the tip of the week. I'm Wayne D. Francesco.